Centre half. What we look at when you come to the UK, the centre half, is dealing with different kind of strikers. The most important thing is that you'll play against a range of strikers. You'll play against your target man. How you deal with the target man is very important. If you're smaller than him, are you going to be able to win the first ball? So what we look at is different scenarios. This isn't just about getting you technically right. It's about game intelligence. You'll come across players that are maybe six foot five, six foot six, and what will happen is they'll get full backs or sent offs hitting diagonal balls, and you've got to be able to deal with that. Now it's not just about the first ball. If the ball is in there, you've got to understand that if you lose that ball, the spacing behind. So as you challenge, you've got to expect your centre half to come in, your full backs. So if you do lose the first ball, that there's cover on it. But we, this is a, these are the things that we teach you. We teach you to understand how a back four works. So some managers prefer the full backs a little bit higher, which means they are better on the second ball. This though gives space for strikers to work in there. So we'll teach you the pros and cons of every style. Me personally, I prefer a very flat line. Well, we defend like that. We'll teach you the benefits of that. We'll teach you the benefits of having one full back a little bit higher. As, the, as you play football, whether you play in Europe, whether you play in South America, whether you play anywhere, you'll come against different strikers. You'll play against a striker one up front sometimes, who will continuously look to move in there. We'll teach you how to deal with that. We'll teach you how to deal when there is no striker. And that's what, what causes a lot of sense of problems. If there's no striker and you start to come out, what happens is, you'll start to get runners in behind. And that's what you've got to start understanding. So we'll follow lots of different scenarios. Again, you'll deal with strikers that play on the last man. All they are looking to do is run in behind onto three balls. So it's important how you do that. How you defend against the target man, how you defend somebody who's going to go in behind. Obviously, we'll teach you how to play a higher line. So for example, one of the ways to always keep good distance between you and the ball is that when the ball goes back, you get yourselves up. And when, the, when he's received it, you hold. We'll teach you body position. And these are the things that will throw at you. These are the things that you've been making more intelligent. One of the biggest things I do find with centre halves is defending on the right shoulder. So if the ball's on this side with the left winger and the striker's on there, the idea is that if you mark on this side of him and you keep the striker between you, if the ball gets played here, you're the first one there. If you mark on this side and the ball gets played there, it becomes a foot race. And if he's quicker than you, you've got problems. So straight away we look at your positioning. Again, if, he's, if you're on this side of him, any ball that's played in there, you can nick it and you threaten that ball. So realistically, that becomes a dangerous ball. Being a centre half is massive. You, recently John Terry played a fantastic game against Arsenal. What you've got to look at is organisation and that is the most important thing, good organisation.